the next cast I'm going to show you is probably one of the most used downstream casts there is. It's called the Snake Roll. It's a fairly modern cast, and it's just a, a very quick change of direction cast. An amazing fishing cast. Here I am on the right bank with a downstream wind, facing the target, which is 90 degrees. I'm going to lift the rod tip, bring it in a little bit, and draw a rugby ball, okay? And what I mean by that is, imagine I'm here, imagine there's a post. All I'm gonna do, directly here, I'm gonna bring the rod tip up on a post, and then I'm gonna draw a rugby ball on top of that post. Imagine a rugby ball turned on its side, stuck on a post, about head height, and I'm just gonna draw that rugby ball on top of that post. That's all I want you to do for now. Lift the rod tip up the post, draw the rugby ball. Now have a look where my anchor is, a rod length away, facing 90 degrees across stream. Like magic, isn't it? It's exactly how we know we want our anchor to be. Lift up the goal post, draw a rugby ball, and look at that, perfect anchor. 180 degrees opposite our target. The back of it goes that way and the front of it goes that way. It's called the 180 degree principle. Up the goalpost, draw the rugby ball. There it is, just landing on the water, creating the D-loop. It splashed and then we went. A better way to describe the splash is called a kiss or a touch. We're actually trying to remove all splashes so we just want it to touch and go. So I like to use touch and go. Show you that again. Goal post, rugby ball, touch and go. No splash, no rips of the water, no whip cracks. A beautiful touch and go cast. So different variations of the snake roll. Lift high, big rugby ball, nice flat anchor all the time in the world, a bit lower, a bit of a more compressed rugby ball, or you can throw the loop in front of you and draw back a very dynamic loop like that. The golden rule is that you want your anchor to be landing off your casting shoulder, not in front or behind. Whether you compress or elongate or round and off, the snake shape is up to you. Whether it's a big snake like that, or if you want to come lower and get underneath those bushes, throw it out into the stream, pull it back, and then float it underneath those bushes, is up to you. Ninety degree snake roll.